Now that's the space that the shelves are going to go in. I've had to bring the backs down. As soon as I start building I'm going to have to put them behind because I just won't get them in. There's a staircase there. And the radio has just been moved. And in there it feels like there's some timber or something. I can't feel anything in the holes. The pipes have just been capped off inside there. I've tried the metal detector, the stud detector on it. Don't seem to make any difference so using my punch just so that I don't make too much damage if I do hit something. It's a bit blunt. Rather than using a nail or a screw or something. But those are about 340 centre, so I don't know what's going on there with studs. Hit something solid there. Went across. I tried tapping. There isn't much sound difference all the way across. There is a very slight difference. just hear the difference on that but that's 400 which is what I'd expect so 400 again I'll try it so 400 centre nothing there so what I'll go is less than two inch either side if you go more than two inch you might miss the stud we'll see I only need one two three I only need four maybe another one in the middle Sounds like there should be one there, but I can't find it. I'm using an Allen key because it might be just here. I might have just missed it, but with an Allen key, you can, you can sort of reach, reach around. There's nothing there. Right, it's not very tall, this, so they probably use six foot board, which gives a 450 center. 900 mil board, so 450 in middle. But I don't explain that one, that's at 400. Try again, get another one in here. So that's 400, that's 450 from there. That one's just on the edge of something, you see as I push it in. It wants to go to the, go to the edge. Yeah, it wants to go in like that. That one's hit something. I can't tell whether it's metal or steel. Uh, I can't tell whether it's metal or wood. The rest of the place is metal stud with ply. But here, I can hear someone wobbling inside there. A bit like metal pipes. But it could be just the metal stud. So I'm trying to throw all those good ones up. And these holes, you know, it's not ideal. It could be easily filled. You're not going to see these anyway. Right, I've dug into those to see what's behind. It's metal stud. Which is good. Better than pipes. This one's a bit wobbly because I think it's a double stud. Yeah, I've chewed up the wall, but at least I'm not going to hit a pipe. Better to be safe than sorry, I think. I'm putting a baton on here anyway. Anyway, get that fixed. I'm just screwing it straight on. I'm only using screws there, just, just long enough to go into the stud. And hopefully some Muppet hasn't run his pipes inside the stud. But just keep drilling, don't over tighten them. Just tight enough, that's all it needs. Right, that's a standoff for the skirting and it also means that I can just screw wherever I want through the back of the unit. I was going to screw across the top but this is one of the edges, one of the sides and you can see once I get the top on there there's not going to be a lot of room in there. You know like that. Anyway, have a bit of a tidy up and then I can start building. Cup of tea first. 
while they're not here I'll just show you this this kitchen inspired the other one that I made not long ago it's a bit better this one though I used some of the old carcasses put a face frame on there's pictures on Facebook of this I didn't film it but this is a mistake I made I used AC paint on this you see how it's chipped I took the advice of the suppliers use AC it's hard as nails they said yeah, but the problem with that is it's so hard, it's, it chips easily. I should have gone with what I normally use, which is PU. Anyway. We bought a few units and reused what we, what we could. And then like I said, I put a face frame on, plywood end panels. And that's the mantelpiece that's in one of my vids. Uh, I put a piece of timber on, replaced that little piece that I put on and I've set it back and although there's no gripper rod when I put this in I don't want the carpet to bunch up plus it lets me get a screw in there to go up into the dividers it's going to be a tight squeeze in there building that but same again, I'll square it up then start building, I can't build it in here because it won't go through the doorway there Right, so that was hard work, but all the backs are flush. I put some screws up into these dividers, and I've just put some down. You see my marks? I've got that right. Screws in the end. Just keep stacking now. It's going to get difficult as soon as I get up here. So that's going to have to go that way, but I need to screw in from there. Mm -hmm. uh, as I've been going along, I've been putting a screw up. Once I put the top on that is, I put a screw up to hold the backs. Now I can screw it down and get these flush. I'm getting to a point where I've got to put the top on. It's a bit tight in there. So I've screwed these together. Hopefully I'll be just be able to lift this, turn it upside down and sit it on. But you see there's not a lot of space. I can't get that off. Alarms are probably off now in my luck anyway. But hopefully there's enough space for me just to drop it all on. We'll see. I'll film it. Uh, it's sort of on. Forgot I've got to put this end on there. I'll screw that on, then I can drop that in.
Well, that's on. But remember, the top was twisted. That's gone back to haunt me a little bit now. It's sitting okay at that end, but this end, even my son, more or less clamp I can't get in. I'm going to see if I can lean it forward, get a screw up underneath there. Might be able to get it in. Otherwise, I've got some floor clamps. I've got a little metal bar and hook. Might be able to get it in there. Get it on one of these down here. Right, I've spiked some screws in that end. I can hardly move the thing. I want to see if I can spin it around so I can do that end. Oh, well, that's on. Let's see if I can get the backs on now. Got the, got the smoke alarm off. The clip's a little bit knackered. It is now. Let's see if I can get behind, get these backs on. I'm going to screw them on. String line across where these are. Smoke alarm still in way. Right, lots of screws. Before I put these backs on, I made some pen marks where the shelves are. And my chalk lines on them, so that's all right. Chosen to screw it because because this is a stuff shelf, you know, it's gonna get stuff shoved in it. And it's nine mil ply. I don't do six mil. For the few extra quid you get a more solid back. Let's see if I can get it back in place. I'm also screwing it because I'm screwing it back to that. So that's pretty much it. Can't get a very good picture. Easy. For the moment I've just put screws in the back. I might put some screw cups on them, just give them a bit more a bit more hold. Might change it for black ones, might put a bit of stain on, I don't know. A little dent there, a bloody smoke alarm. Get a bit of stain on that. And you can just see the screws through here. I'll get a bit of stain on those. Yeah, that's it. It's better, 